Turbochargers have many critical parts within them. Here at Napier, we're going to find out exactly why they invest in the best machine tools to produce their products. Dan, before we talk about this fantastic investment with Grob UK, could you tell us what you do here at Napier? Hi, Mike. Yes, we're manufacturers of industrial turbochargers for the power generation marine sectors. We manufacture all the turbochargers, everything. The rotating equipment, the casings, we do everything. And the materials that you're actually challenged with, what are they? Uh, aluminium, your inco steels, your hard stuff, uh, iron castings, we do a lot. So prior to this investment here at Napier Turbochargers, tell me a little bit about the process and the operations that you had before this. Yeah, Mark, so we were doing milling and turning in a total of nine operations. The Grob has enabled us to do that in down to six, more flexibility with a mill turn option. And I suppose, obviously, having more sophisticated machine tools there, there's a lot of tool uh, savings as well, isn't there? Yeah, a lot, a lot of savings across the board on tooling, processes, operations, everything. Now, you've been the lead uh, by finding the Grob solution. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that journey, effectively. So, we set out with some pretty ambitious targets on where we wanted to get to. We reached out to a lot of the, a lot of the big manufacturers and uh, a senior colleague had been to the Seco Inspiration Day a few years ago and picked up a Grob leaflet, which kind of kicked around the office a little bit. It's you know, not one of the big names, is it? Uh, I went straight out to LinkedIn as a quite big LinkedIn user. I managed to find Carl down at Grob. Got in touch within a couple of weeks, he was on site, talked through what we wanted to achieve. He sort of gave us a nod that he thinks, thinks the machines are right for doing it. And from then it just snowballed, you know, a, couple, a month or so later we had Luke the Apps guy on site talking through it. And then within maybe three or four months I was over Mindelheim for a three day visit on a trial cut on a 550T. Now I've been quite lucky to actually visit mm. Mindelheim and obviously they've got a fantastic task centre there with some very sexy end products. And when you look at a, a, a very attractive product that you've got there, an impeller, how crucial is the manufacturing and design within a turbocharger of the impeller? Oh, they're, they're immensely critical on the end, end turbocharger performance. So for a machine tool, we're looking for high accuracy, a high performance machine tool, which the Grob fits really well. And one thing Grob really do is they, they do challenge you to actually you know, bring your problems to them and, and solving them. But I suppose obviously with the G550T and also the 350T, it gives you the opportunity of having milling and turning in the same application. Well, yeah, exactly. That was a sort of like a, a lightable moment in Mindelheim. It was like, actually, these turn machines, they're not ju it's not just a bolt on. It's a fundamental. It, it can be used as a lathe, which is real crucial for, for some of the turn features. And then the flexibility of having both a 550 and a 350 on site, you know, we cover a multitude of part sizes, you know, the, the options of the machine are limitless. So really this is, this is sort of future proof in your business because you're, you're obviously saving uh, time on the actual component, tool life as well, but you know, what's next? Is it automation? Because these guys are big into automation as you know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's their background is automation. So go with, go with them seemed like a logical step. The machines are prepped for it. So if things in the future line up, then automation is seen as a, the next thing potentially. And do you see this as a, a flexible solution? Because, you know, obviously you're designing uh, impellers here. So therefore, these machines actually give you the capacity and the size that you actually need for the future? Yeah, exactly. It's immensely flexible, you know. Having, like I say, having the two machines, we can cater for if product range changes and go smaller and go bigger. You know, we can turn features that we can't, you know, we can turn any feature we like. We can part probe accurately. Yeah, the flexibility that they give us is immense. I suppose, uh, obviously, when you work with a new uh, machining concept, uh, you know, with Grob UK, what, what's been the uh, service and the backup, you know, what confidence has actually given you? Oh, all the way through, it's been absolutely faultless. You know, right from that initial conversation with Carl to since the machines have been in, you know, I've rung Luke, the apps guy, on my lunch break, like, can you help me out of this situation? You know, it's always amazing. The, the rules at the end of the phone, it's just been so easy, all the way through. And I'm sure as a lead, having sleepless nights about choosing the right machining partner, have you got that right? Yeah, I think I've got that right, yeah. The sleepless nights have ended. They're doing what they're supposed to do. Yeah, happy project lead.